welcome back to our this second video on uh, learning and exploring stm32 microcontrollers programming and those of you who have followed us in our previous video in which we had made a simple program to blink an led connected to one of the gpio pins of our microcontroller using the STM32 IDE software. Uh, <clears throat> now is the time to test the uh, the actual program which we had uh, compiled and uh, wrote the program and compiled it. Ideally is to check the program on a physical hardware and uh, as if I am like I am in a situation where I don't have this hardware right now available um, and many of you uh, who may not have the physical hardware available all the times we can always try uh, Proteus simulator to simulate our program so almost not 100% but almost 95% to 98% I can say your program and code will be uh, running on this Proteus simulator uh, may not be very accurate in timing sort of things but it's good enough to give it a try so last time uh, what we had was uh, this uh, software that we had compiled it in this hello world uh, program folder and this is our hex file which we had generated it now is the time to test it so to test it first of all we will have to make the appropriate um, uh, simulation uh, schematic that can be used to test run this program and we will be building up on this basic uh, 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 proteus simulator sort of thing so that we can uh, go on adding the new modules and new things onto it so we start i have i'm using uh proteus 8.13 this is not one thing this is 13th revision it's it's more recent than the 8.9 version and <clears throat> start a new project and First of all, we browse the folder where we are keeping our all our files, STM32 YouTube, and in this, I'm going to keep it in the Proteus folder. And we give it uh, the project name is maybe STM32F103 uh, board and we choose next and we choose default and next and let's say no firmware finished so here is the blank or a, a playground on which we have to develop our uh, simulation so first of all we choose the devices from here we go to stm32 f103 C8. So here is the STM32 ARM Cortex M3, 72 megahertz, 64 kilobytes of flash RAM, 20 kilobytes of SRAM, 37 IO lines, 12 bit ADC, two timers, etc. etc. So all the features. So and this is the physical form of the uh, chip that you get from the market, and this will be the schematic that will be used so let's place it here and <clears throat> as you can see uh, let me enlarge it a little bit as you can see that uh, <clears throat> this pin is the 
NRST non maskable reset pin. This is the pin for the reset button, and this is the pin for uh, real time uh, clock uh, crystal 38 kilohertz crystal. And this is also an RTC pin, but it can also be used as GPIO as PC13. And these are the two pins for oscillators 8 kilo 8 megahertz external oscillator this is the battery pin for battery power uh, for real time clock and this is the boot zero pin so these are the pins which are used actually in the in the real hardware and the real uh, uh, circuit boards it, these are not required in the, the simulation however i would like to keep this pin high because leaving it open can cause some issues rest of there are two uh, uh, ports gpio ports one is port a and other is the port b as you can see this is port a pa0 to pa15 these are 16 lines and then the second port is port b and this is uh, pb0 to pb15 um, there is also some pins labeled as PC13, PC13, PC14 and PC15. These are uh, low uh, power pins mainly used for the real time clock but they can also be used as GPIO pins. But most of the time we will be using these pins for uh, uh, as GPIO pins and also the alternate functions these pins have alternate functions as well which are not mentioned here we can see the alternate functions in the uh, diagram of the microcontroller which we will explore later on so right now our objective is to make the the simulator work so let's say as in blue pill uh, um, as in blue pill uh, board which is uh, you can purchase from the market in google and blue pill stm32 so this is the blue pill board and this is a better picture So as you can see, this is not coming right now, this seems better. So there are two LEDs on this board, one is called for the power and the other one is connected to PC13 here. This, this LED is connected to the PC13 pin of the uh, microcontroller, so we can use this LED. Uh, as an example so <clears throat> next thing is we need to get an LED LED optoelectronics and uh, this is the active LED and we will connect it to the PC13. So definitely this has to be connected to um, a, a current limiting resistor. So we can uh, make it like this and slightly move it up. We need a resistor as well. So we can get a one K resistor the resistors and zero point six watt one K. We can change its value later on. So one K resistor will come over here. here. 
uh, there. Uh, and this part should be connected to the ground. So get the ground. Indeed, I would say that this is better to um, connect it like this. This looks more reasonable. Right. <clears throat> now, this board is powered by 3.3 volts. And the power supply which is provided by Proteus is this symbol. And this symbol gives 5 volts. So we have to give it 3.3 volts power supply. So we go to the design and configure power rails. And you see there are two unconnected power rails, VDDA and VSSA. These are the power supply. This is the ground and this is the power supply of the uh, 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 microcontroller. So VSSA we connected to the ground and in VCC and VDD we add this thing. So instead of 5 volts we make it 3 point. 3 volts. Now we also connect this thing to the pull up to the 3.3 uh, .3 volts. Now remember this symbol is not 5 volts, this is 3.3 .3 volts. Now there, that's all, that's all the circuit that you needed. Now we have to mention which program is it is going to run. We just go to the program files and desktop and hello world and debug and here is the hex file remember you have to use this hex file for proteus and this elf file that can be used for physical hardware and just make it okay and now we can run the simulation hopefully it should work and it is not working. Let's see what is wrong. Maybe this register is too high. 220 ohms. Oh, in the program, we mentioned about that PA0 will be used and now we are using PA13. So we can connect this thing to PA0. And now you can see the LED is blinking. Right? So our simulation is working fine and our program is working fine. So hello world application is complete now. We connect it back to the PC13. In the future programs, we will uh, use this as PC13 as the LED pin and we will use all these IO lines for other functions. So I hope uh, this makes it clear that uh, how to simulate the STM32 microcontrollers in Proteus and write the applications in, in STM32 IDE. Thank you very much for watching and keep watching. We will be, inshallah, uh, make more videos uh, and share whatever I know about this thing with you people. Thank you very much. God bless you. Allah Hafiz.